This video describes removing, cleaning, repairing, and adding a tank liner to a John Deere 4020 fuel tank. This John Deere 4020 is an earlier model. All of the controls are on the dashboard. I got this tractor as is and at first I noticed there was a loss of power and it just wasn't getting enough fuel. So after checking the fuel tank I noticed there were some rust holes in the bottom and the lid rusty, lots of rust and moisture was in the tank. So I decided to do a clean and repair. The filters on this 4020 are on top of each other, one on top of the other. You can see the fuel filters, you can see the number on the fuel filter of that brand. I decided to replace those with a John Deere filter. This device here has a lever on the bottom that will help you prime your engine, prime the filters when you replace your tank or if it runs dry and you put diesel in it, it will help you get it on into the filters and, and get the engine started. To get into it, you'll have to take the hood off, you'll have the breather, the some of the elements, um, radiator cap, different things, and uh, possibly the muffler, and lift that off to get to your fuel tank. The fuel tank is pretty big, probably take two people if you can, get some help on that to get it out. Once you've got the hoods and side off, which is pretty easy, the tank itself has a couple of rods on each side holding it in and some bands around the tank that holds it. Loosen those rods and the bands and you'll see how the tank can come out but you have to remove a couple of other things. You can see on the front of the tank it connects to the grill, the screen on the front and that needs to be removed also. The rod on the breather side also and it needs to be removed. You can see some of the connections, the top connections the front connection, the band, the rod is moved out of the way in this photo, the breather will need to come out, the hose needs to be disconnected here, you've got the band on the other side and the connections on the bottom. Here's a few more photos from different angles of the tank removed. The connection on the bottom Remember there's the drain cock and then also the connection that feeds towards the filters. Make sure you, if it's dirty like this one, make sure you cover it up to not get dirt up into that hose. Just wrap some rag around it and rubber band or you know something that will prevent the dirt from getting back up into that copper line. There's an opening underneath the tractor that you can get to those lines pretty easy, the drain and everything. You can see from the top photo, it's fairly easy to get to. One of my brass fittings broke during the extraction from the tank, so I had to get new ones. I just replaced both while I was at it, and it may be a good idea for you to also just while you're at it, and you know you went back with everything good. Shown here is the fuel tank number. If your your tank is beyond repair and you just need an entire new tank. You can see the number on the screen. The brass shutoff valve, John Deere part number, brass drain valve, and return line fitting all the John Deere part numbers if you need them. After cleaning up the tank once it was removed, you can see here the rust. This is the bottom of the tank. And inside the pits, the pitted rust on the tank, there's little holes, all, pinholes all the way through several and they're kind of scattered around on this tank in a couple places. So to fix the tank I use JB Weld and just spread it around, uh, covered the, the entire area, sanded it and of course sanded as good as you can down and then uh, you can see how I applied uh, just JB Weld, spreading it around and over. <clears throat> it's still working today, working really good. So, and the rest uh, usually form around where it sits, uh, where it was sitting. So for the fuel tank liner, this is what I ordered. This is what I used pretty simple concoction. Um, if you do order this, 
I won't go into the full details of the tank liner just follow the directions and you know allow the amount of drying time that it says and you know just follow the directions and it should work really well so the trick is to clean your tank out really good uh, first of all if it's dirty or and all that and repair it clean it and repair it the kit that uh, I show here comes with a chemical cleaner that you put in first and that really helps kind of get it ready and clean for the liner to go in so it comes with everything you need and uh, I show you here I just taped up the holes and I use the cap to put the tank liner in and the key is just to make sure you coat it really well you have to shake it turn it upside down roll it around you really got to move it around and that also helps if there's a couple of people but the key is to slosh it around and really get it in there good and let it dry completely even if it takes a little longer than the directions hopefully you check it and even if it takes a little bit longer than the directions just make sure it's dry before you put it back into use there are other kits out there that I've read work just as well I use the northern kit fuel tank liner kit and if you'll notice on the notes the kit includes one quart fuel tank cleaner one quart fuel tank prep and one quart fuel tank liner the tank on this 4020 is a 35 gallon tank so also as you see in the notes a 36 gallon tank mine's 35 it needs the one kit plus two quarts of liner if you get the kit the one quart included will not do the entire job you need for such a big tank which you have on the 4020 tractor you'll need one kit plus two quarts of liner and remember the insides as you go back it's pretty self-explanatory once you took it out just put it back in reverse order make sure all everything's tight the cap as you can see in this photo very rusted up that was kinda how the entire tank looked on the inside so I got a new cap of course and I also coated the insert that goes inside the rubber piece that extends the where you fill the tank up through the hood I tried to coat it with some tank liner and it did okay I I could have did a better job on it I should have recoated it uh, a couple more times this is just to show the consistency of the tank liner once it dries it's it's kind of like plastic soft plastic rubber and um, so if you coated this really well in the tank and it dries it nice coating that should last a long long time okay there you go you can post any questions in the comments below I'll try to answer them best I can and I also tried to show here the part from the manual that talks about the tank and removing and and stuff but it's hard to see but I'll go slow on a pan and um, across the PDF so you can see kind of what was in the manual about that thanks for watching